Hey guys, welcome back. So now it's your boy Dope reaching out from the self quarantine to where like for the past week I've been locked in to MK11 playing Spawn. And I looked up like man, I ain't posted a video in four days. And I mean man, like I've been glued to this game, like locked in, sending a number of these poor souls straight to Malboja with little to no closure. But also while I was playing, I noticed there's a number of like spawn Easter eggs like throughout the different gear you can pick up and a number of the different skins to where one of which is your medieval spawn who is Sir John of York. And so I just figured why not talk about this guy because I don't think nobody else really has. And like prior to this point we talked about Dark Age of Spawn from the 12th century who I'm not gonna front is actually my favorite between the two but even still I get it medieval spawn is the fan favorite but Dark Age of Spawn is still better. <laughs> But even still, I want people to have an idea of who Medieval Spawn is. All right, so let's break this down. But first, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to catch the spills every week. And don't forget to hit that bell up top so we can squat up in the comments for the first hour. All right, so let's talk Medieval Spawn, who appeared before Dark Age of Spawn as far as publication order back in April of 1993. But as far as your linear timeline, Medieval Spawn appeared in your 16th century, which is like 400 years after Dark Age of Spawn. But even with your Medieval Spawn, who I feel like when he first appeared in your original series of Spawn, to where a few years later we would see him team up with Witchblade, but in his defense I do feel like his original creation and appearance back in Spawn issue number 9, that it was more so for the purpose of giving us a bit more of the backstory on Hail Spawns and telling us how often they were made which was once or twice a century, and not necessarily because it took a long time to make a Hell Spawn because once selected they'd be back in the land of the living anywhere between 5 to 10 years. But because of the amount of power it took to put into one hell spawn it would at least take Malboja another 50 years. And likely because of the soul selection process or the requirements for the souls needed to put into a hell spawn which could all around be like that 6000 number which is something that we got from Agent Twitch who had followed up with the soul who had escaped from Al Simmons back when the violator had ripped his heart out. Because when that happened one of the souls had gotten away and that one soul was like this kid named Christopher but we had found out that that one soul was one out of 6,000 who were drawn into spawn when he was originally given his power. And so now because of the way that the spawn narrative starts off like from the first issue with him just being on earth five years after his death with little to no memory like at first he didn't even remember his wife Wanda who was the whole reason for him making the deal and coming back but day one when he arrived all he remembered was her face and he really just had to rebuild his memories from there. But in the case of Medieval Spawn, he didn't really get the rich backstory treatment. But when we first got Medieval Spawn, like I said, his purpose was much more for the reasoning of explaining more things and taking a deeper dive into the mythology, which we were briefly introduced to in Spawn issue 9. But when we had first seen him, he knew that he was Sir John of York. He knew that he had made a deal with the Dark One, who we would know as Malboja, because he wanted to return again to see his sister, to whom he promised that he'd see that she'd get married before he died. But of course, when he came back, that was already a done deal with him returning within that 5 to 10 year gap. But as far as our introduction to him, it had came about when he had crossed paths with this woman who was in distress and she had told him that her sister was taken by some ogre and dragged into a cave so of course he had went there to help her out. But with doing so, lo and behold the woman who was in distress wasn't so much in distress and as it turned out she was Angela, a warrior who was sent from heaven with the mission of hunting down and killing Hellspawn. And at the time I gotta tell you like this was a great introduction for her. But for good old St. John of York, this first appearance was a R.I.P. open and shut. But even with this, like the way he was taken out here, it doesn't discredit his skills as a warrior. Like not all the way, because the specific weapon he was killed with, he was caught off guard with, which at the time was just referred to as Angela's Lance. But as we are told, it had the ability to destroy a hell spawn at close range, which Angela only caught on Sir John after tricking him into a dark corner. And so for that reason, I'm not really going to hold him to it. But with medieval spawn, even though he was killed in your 16th century, he was later brought back like much later on around your spawn issue number 300 which was definitely around like one of your craziest like top five Al Simmons moments. Because around this time when Simmons had nearly used all of his necroplasm which was really what that clock was for in spawn issue one which would always go down anytime he used his powers and not even like every time he used his powers because some things wouldn't be as taxing but for the most part when he did use them that was the clock that was running out. But around this time when he had tricked the Violator and Godsend into being in the same place at the same time and mainly with Simmons knowing how badly the Violator wanted his symbiote suit 
but with him using himself in the symbiote suit as bait, Simmons allowed himself to get captured just to bring the two of them together, which was really his plan to set off a number of things, which in addition to that set off some other things which takes us back to medieval spawn, but we'll get to that in just a minute. But essentially with Spawn putting together this whole plan to do this here, and also knowing that when he allowed himself to get caught that the Violator would take what he wanted, which was essentially his suit, but also with this being done here, this was the Violator's toxic chemical plant, which also served as a headquarters, which is why Simmons wanted to destroy the place altogether. But with just blowing up this facility, he knew that it would take out everyone who worked there, and really just everyone there except for those who were not mortal. And because of that, only the Violator, Godsend, and Simmons were left remaining. And it's here where the Violator had thought, with him having Simmons' suit, that he had the remainder of his powers. But in what is truly one of my all-time favorite Spawn moments, it's when he walks through the fire of this explosion and he uses the ash from this burnt down facility and he draws on his face and he draws on his body like the symbols that would usually be on his symbiote suit and he picks up the barbed wire and puts it around his arm and he's sticking bones throughout his forearms he's putting somebody's skull in his stomach and more or less making what the suit would be and placing it like drawing it on his body right now and lastly he took like the flag that fell and tied it around his neck like a cape but he did all of this first to tell the violator that the suit does not make him spawn but also Simmons did this to let the Violator know that though the Violator thinks that he has the last bit of his power of which the Violator used to try to raise a bunch of demons to come after Simmons but then in return when Simmons started raising the dead this just confused the Violator even more because Simmons was still showing to have power even without his suit but with kind of skimming through this the way that this points back to medieval spawn is because when Simmons had ran up the clock and used the last of his power by pretty much necroplasm nuking everything that was left there which is something he did with the plans of originally leaving slithers of his suit with other people who would take over after he died but as it turned out using the last of his power didn't quite have the ending that he thought it would or at least what he was told with on one hand instead of it killing him it actually reset his powers which then at the time caused the clock to gradually count up but he also shared this power with his replacements like he had planned but along with this a number of spawns from the past which were long gone had been reborn to whom one of which was your medieval spawn who early on from the time of his rebirth he had been captured and taken to vatican city under order of the pope who had pretty much just locked him up in the basement but what they were doing with him here it was like within this setup to where they had this agency that was kind of like shield on earth but they work for heaven but with them having medieval spawn here to whom from the time of his rebirth all he had talked about is about his righteous cause and about his great devotion to this righteous cause and with him being held here they had pretty much used that against him and like with using bright lights which weaken your traditional hell spawn they held him here under the vatican and they pretty much told him look since you have this righteous cause we're gonna give you the opportunity to prove yourself and do so by carrying out god's work but really this was them taking the opportunity to use this hell spawn to hunt down the targets which they have set in place to whom prior to this point two of which were the violator and now simmons but after the explosion which took the violator off the map this then essentially caused either 12 or 14 others to pop up who for the most part were people that simmons had set up to be his replacement to whom one of which was a long time troubled kid who simmons had known by the name of eddie frank but medieval spawn his mission here was pretty much to determine like these people who popped up after the violator disappeared it was pretty much to determine like are they here serving heaven hell spawn or themselves and pretty much if the answer was in heaven then the vatican was like done them but for simmons because prior to this point he hasn't met medieval spawn because really for medieval spawn like prior to this point his history was like in the 1500s he was a knight and somewhere between the 15 and 1600s he died and became a hell spawn and i mean during that time he teamed up with witchblade for a little bit to where they went to another realm and stopped like this magical armageddon and then medieval spawn came back and he was killed by angela and so for Simmons, like for meeting this dude for the first time, while he's fighting him, he's not even sure if like dude was trying to protect Eddie and he's just reacting because Simmons showed up. But when Simmons pretty much just gets the clear idea that this dude is here to kill him too, he initially tries to reason with them and let them know that whoever sent him, that he knows what they want, which is pretty clear because the Vatican, they want this hellspawn to kill the other hellspawns. And if he gets killed in the process, then it's a win-win. But while they're tussling around Simmons, he speaks the medieval spawn sword, which was forged in hell. And because at this point with spawn being king of the dead, but when he does this, medieval spawn can no longer pick up his sword with his sword now having to obey Simmons. And when Simmons goes to pick it up, medieval spawn tries to stop him and he just cuts his head off. 
which prior to this point was a pretty big thing that spawns just don't kill other spawns. But in the case of Al Simmons, this wasn't the first and it definitely wasn't the last rule that he broke in the book of rules between heaven and hell. But once again, this brought an end to your medieval spawn. But aside from this, there's two things that I wanted to mention. Because one, like after your first appearance of Medieval Spawn, where there was this team up between Medieval Spawn and Witchblade, that was like one of your instances to where he had traveled to your top cow universe, to where when he did, he ran into Katrina Godliff, who was the current Witchblade at that time, to where they teamed up and saved like this kingdom of elves. But as it turned out, when he first went there, he was calling her by name when it appeared that they first met, which was mainly because the two of them, they had been lovers for a brief moment while he was human not long before he had died and became a hell spawn. But also as a brief mention, aside from your 1996 medieval spawn in Witchblade, you also have your 2018 medieval spawn in Witchblade, which I didn't want to so much include in this one because this version of medieval spawn, Todd McFarlane is more so described this one as like a retelling or a newer version of that character. So if anything, I figure like when we get to that, we do it in a separate video because the ending of that story is very different. And so now real quick, I want to give a shout out to all the patrons. Thank you guys for all your support. You guys are the best. But for everybody watching, there's a lot of wild stuff going on out there. So first and foremost, stay safe. Call your loved ones, your friends, stay in touch. Like digitally, not literally. And I'll just keep checking for you guys in the comments. But that'll do it for this one, guys. Be safe, and we'll do it again in the next one. Alright, later.